This jacket is dry clean only, which means it's dirty. <laughs> oh my gosh, the one fun plug. Dry clean only. All right, so here we go. We have a request for Mitch Hedberg, who I've been told was in that '70s show, and uh, I have no idea what this is about, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. First reaction to Mitch Hedberg. All right. All right, welcome back. Our next comedian has appeared at the Montreal Comedy Festival, Late Night with David Letterman. Please welcome Mitch Hedberg, ladies and gentlemen. I like his hair. It's nice. Thank you. I, I, all right. <laughs> I was going to say, Relatable. how's everybody? But then I refrained. <laughs> Did uh, um, anyone see me on a uh, Letterman show? No? All right. I already all right. like him. All right. I know, like, four million people watch that show, and I don't know where they are. <laughs> I cannot locate them. But I believe that, you know, that's my dream introduction right there, you know? You might have seen this next comedian on the David Letterman show. But I, I believe more people have seen me at the store. Oh. You know? And, and that would be a better introduction. You might have seen this next comedian at the store. And people would say, hell yes, I have. Oh, my gosh. He likes kiwi fruit. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. I didn't That's like kiwi funny. at first, because I thought it was like watermelon. I thought you had to spit out the seeds. No, I, that, was, that was a risk, doing that joke. <laughs> this jacket is dry clean only, which means it's dirty. <laughs> oh my gosh, the one fun plug. Dry clean only, all right, here we go. Here we go, I'm ready to go to the bar. <laughs> hey, I think a rotisserie is like a really morbid Ferris wheel for chickens. <laughs> It's a strange piece of machinery. We will take the chicken, kill it, and impale it, and then rotate it. And I'll be damned if I'm not hungry. <laughs> because spitting chicken carcasses make my mouth water. Oh my gosh. I like dizzy chicken <laughs> with some dizzy mashed chicken. potatoes. I'm gonna use that for now. Let's get some dizzy chicken for dinner. <laughs> You know, you can't, you can't please all the people all the time. And last night, all those people came to my show. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. But I got watermelon I like in my it. teeth. I feel like I got free watermelon in the bag, and I've been overindulging. I opened up a yogurt, and underneath the lid, it said, please try again. They were having a contest I was unaware of. Oh. But I thought I might have opened the yogurt wrong. I would have thought the same. <laughs> or, or maybe, maybe your play was trying to inspire me. Aww. Come on, Mitch, don't give up. <laughs> Please try again. <laughs> a message of inspiration from your friends at your play. That's amazing. Fruit on the bottom, hope on top. <laughs> hope on top. Thanks for doing that. <laughs> uh, I'm so unanimated once the cameras are rolling. <laughs> At the wrong time to be unanimated, I would say. <laughs> All right. I can't wait till this set's over because I have a roll of lifesavers in my pocket and pineapple is next. <laughs> Ooh, pineapple lifesaver. I love the one-liners. It's just like, on to the next. <clears throat> you know, if I made an orange juice, I wouldn't be so hardcore on people. I would be more polite. Like, I would not print shake well on the carton because you don't know how good people can shake, you know? I would write, shake to the best of your ability. <laughs> They don't have a diagram that shows the uninitiated how to shake. All right, put it over here, then put it over here, then put it over here quicker. 
very relatable. Very relatable. I like to work in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is a very exciting town. And, uh, I work at the Riviera Hotel. Uh, there's four comedians on the bill, and we all had similar hair because we were all using the Riviera in-house shampoo. <laughs> 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 it was two in one shampoo. Of course. Two in one is not a good term because it's, it's not real. Because one is not big enough to hold two. That's why two was created. His if it was two in one, so it would be overflowing. I like to play blackjack, it's my favorite game. And my friend is a blackjack dealer and on his forearm he has a tattoo of an ace and a jack. See, I'm a blackjack player. On my forearm, I'm gonna get a tattoo of a 10 and a two. <laughs> then maybe slaps. later a king. little like awkward laughs after you said something I just agree. I was 12 was a game in Las Vegas. <laughs> All right. I basically said the joke again. <laughs> <laughs> this timing is I get funny. up in the morning and I make myself a bowl of instant oatmeal and then I don't do anything for an hour which makes me wonder why I need the instant oatmeal. <laughs> I could get the regular oatmeal and feel productive. <laughs> I like Kit Kats unless I'm with four or more people. <laughs> oh my God. He's something else. He's something else. <laughs> I work at this club in Nashville, and uh, it's a you know five night a week club or something. And uh, I wasn't getting very many laughs, so the club owner took me aside. He said, "Mitch, you know you're not getting a lot of laughs. You're gonna have to vacuum." He made me vacuum the club. It was embarrassing. So I told the next guy, hey, y'all gotta start laughing. Otherwise, don't drop anything. <laughs> were they a good crowd? Yeah, they were neat. Oh, no. <laughs> some, com some comedy clubs, they, they hand out comment cards. And those are rude. I don't like those. You know? Like, I'll pretend this is the one here. Like, people fill it out, you know, there's a name and address, and there's a line that says comments, and, and people write down what they thought of the show. And sometimes people write negative things, and that's not necessary. <laughs> like, some, I read something that say, Mitch sucks. Then you look up above, it has their name and address. Smart. That's right, Smart. I do suck, but I got a lot of free time. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. This is the first time hearing Mitch Hedberg. That was a great show, a great first impression of Mitch Hedberg. Thank you for requesting that, Joseph. He is interesting. I I like it because I feel like he doesn't he doesn't try too hard. Like you know, with some comics, it's just so forced. But like he's just kind of like. If it works, it works, and if it doesn't, oh well. Like I just, I really like that. I think that's, I think that's great. Um, so is Mitch Hedberg, hilarious stand-up. <laughs>